so I want to make a quick video about the negative effects of not changing your um, fuel filter and uh, I bought this a7 Chevrolet camper van here for $1,500 and I've just been going through it and if you follow my channel you know you've seen me work on several things but uh, I'm just going through getting the engine freshened back up since uh, it's pretty hard to pull the doghouse out and work on it so no one's really worked on the engine per se so I believe that this is the original fuel filter and um, I pulled this off about a week ago the engine ran tremendously better um, once this was changed but um, it's really important you can really damage your engine uh, if you don't change your fuel filter in a little bit here um, I'll show you the bore scope images of uh, what I ran down and looked down in the cylinder chamber there and I could see all the damage within the engine from running lean from never getting the right amount of fuel you know your fuel system is designed to run at a set pressure and when you inhibit that flow um, of fuel when that injector opens it's not getting as much flow through that injector as the computer thinks it's getting so you're going to have a lean condition the computer does a bunch of dumb stuff to correct but you get to a point where the computer can't pull enough ignition timing to uh, not detonate and then you get into detonation issues which I'll show you on the bore scope but um, just a ton of crap came out of this thing and it's just it's just amazing this spot on the ground here has been here for about um, three or four days and uh, it's rained twice and it's still here but that's what came out of this fuel filter when I dumped it out so um, you know you just want to be really aware and change this stuff but uh, you know most people they think that well you know how would my fuel be dirty but um, you know when I was a kid I worked at a gas station let me tell you the sediment and crap that's down in some of those tanks you know you pump that up into your engine that's where most of your contaminants come from so anyway I think that um, by changing this one I did I did save this engine but uh, you know there's definitely some catastrophic effects of running way too lean because you have a clogged up filter and oftentimes it won't even throw you a code till you've done some pretty good damage but anyway we'll take a look at the bore scope here on this 350 Chevrolet and see what we see inside the engine from uh, um, you know running too lean okay so just taking a look here inside our cylinder and some of the effects of um, detonation and running too lean so we see on the top of our cylinder here a lot of um, little chips and pieces missing it's kind of looks like a sandblasting effect almost and uh, that's from detonation and what have you uh, taking a look at the valves we see they're white and that's commonly associated with the chamber getting too hot and we're lucky we didn't burn a valve and lose all compression but uh, that's another thing from running too lean and also our chamber here um, we can see some odd wear rings and some odd wear patterns there and we got a lip built up now so um, it's another thing from the chamber running too hot you get some excessive wear but overall I think we saved the engine before it was completely ruined but you can see the damaging effects here